everyone welcome to today's class so in today's class we shall learn about an important topic that is nothing but preservation by salt or pickling in last class we did learn about freezing so freezing is one of the most commonly used process commercially and domestically for preserving a very wide range of food so it includes what prepared foodstuffs or unprepared foodstuffs so the types include slow or sharp freezing quick freezing so quick freezing will have three types like direct immersion indirect contact with the refrigerant air blast and the next type is a cryogenic freezing dehydro freezing and freeze drying we did all we also learned about chilling so it has two types like cryogenic chilling and uh, sorry one type cryogenic chilling and we did learn about smoking too so to learn uh, in detail about such concept just refer the previous slide and now we'll get into the class so what is salting so what happens in salting is that it is also a process of curing where the moisture from the meat is drawn out okay uh, this moisture is usually drawn out by a process called osmosis okay what is the process by which the moisture is drawn out from a meat is called as osmosis the process okay in which the water is drawn out by osmosis is called as what salting okay you can have two types of question from this uh, topic just have a note of it now the ne next major important like a very important topic is that pickling this pickling is also called as what brining okay brining or corning okay i'll just repeat this is also called as brining uh, I spell, i'll just spell it b r i uh, n okay n i n g so this is also called as what corning c o r n i n g okay here in this process okay it is nothing but a process of reserving food by anaerobic respiration okay anaerobic respiration okay you can note it down in pickling uh, anaerobic fermentation takes place so here this anaerobic fermentation takes place in brine brine is nothing but a water which has salt in it or a solution of salt in water now so when this anaerobic fermentation takes place lactic acid is produced okay so this helps in what like marinating and this also extends the shelf life of the product okay now so what they do is that okay uh, it produces okay uh, when you pickle a food it produces lactic acid and they would okay and they would store it in acid solution like usually vinegar or acetic acid so the resulting food is called as what pickle so this is most uh, commonly used in south asia and now they say that this procedure okay gives the food a salty or a sour taste okay this uh, this food will always be salty or it will have a sour taste so the table salt which consists primarily of sodium chloride is the most important okay ingredient for curing food and is used in relatively large quantities here the salt kills and inhibits the growth of microorganism what is the important quality of salt is that it kills okay it kills and inhibits the growth of micro organism so the concentration of salt to kill unwanted bacteria will range around 20% okay will range around 20% so another point about pickling is that it is a method of preserving food in an edible antimicrobial liquid okay so this pickling can be classified into three types so before getting into the types i'll just give a quick brush up of what salting or pickling salting is nothing but removal of water through a process called osmosis so in pickling what happens anaerobic fermentation takes place that is usually uh, in a solution called brine brine is nothing but a solution which contains salt okay salt in water now this salt you know it kills and inhibits the growth of microorganism and the concentration of salt should be around 20% to kill the unwanted bacteria another 
thing about pickling is that it is a it is a it is actually preserved it's a process of preservation where the food is preserved in an edible antimicrobial liquid now let's get into the three types of pickling the first type is nothing but chemical pickling sorry chemical pickling fermentation pickling and commercial pickles so let's see them one by one what is chemical pickling so the chemical pickling is nothing but the food is placed in an edible liquid and it inhibits or kills bacteria or other microorganisms okay what is that it is a food is placed in what edible liquid and this inhibits or kills bacteria okay or other microorganism what are the pickling agents mostly used here are vinegar okay vinegar alcohol vegetable oil or sometimes they use what uh, olive oil too many chemical okay chemically uh, pickle foods okay they involve a process called heating or boiling so what happens is that so when the food okay when the food is heated or boiled uh, it becomes okay it becomes saturated with the pickling agent okay so this is the process involved here so mostly the food will be heated or boiled with that edible liquid and that becomes okay saturated with the pickling agent the most commonly pickled foods include cucumbers peppers corn beef herring and eggs okay that's all and next type fermentation pickling so here food itself produces a preservation agent typically by a process that produces lactic acid okay what happens here is that the food itself produces a preservation agent okay it is mostly by a process where it produces what lactic acid okay lactic acid so some fermented pickles include sauerkraut nukazuk kimchi sour stomach and curtido okay just note down the examples so you might get this example in the question stating which pickling process they follow so this socket usually follows what uh, the fermentation of what cabbage no the next type so this is nothing but commercial pickles the so commercial pickles here they use two agent one is what the sodium benzoate and the other one is edta okay what they do is that they enhance the shelf life for example so meat is cured with what sugar or salt or a combination of two either they use sugar or salt or they combine both okay to preserve that meat or meat is all also preserved by what nitrates or nitrites so this contributes to what the pink color of the meat so this not only contributes to the pink color of the meat it also inhibits what clostridium botulinum okay now so here also they uh, are like sock red and kimchi okay is also prepared by uh, or also known as what commercial pickles now the next type preservation by sugar so sugar is used to preserve fruits so either it will be in what a syrup form or in crystalline uh, crystalline form so for example apple pears peaches apricots um, plums um, or in crystalline form with the preserved material is cooked in sugar to work point of crystallization and the resulting product is then stored okay and then it is dry so they would uh, all these fruits you know uh, the foods which i quoted will be uh, will be cooked to a crystalline form and then they would be okay preserved and they would be stored dry so the other thing is also called as what a glazed uh, a glazed fruit so what do you mean by glazed fruit so uh, the modification of the crystalline form is called okay will always produce a, a glazed fruit where the fruit is preserved in sugar but is then extracted from the syrup and then sold okay they would extract it from the syrup and then sell the product okay 
the preservation being maintained by the sugar content of the fruit and the superficial coating of the syrup. The use of sugar is often combined with alcohol for preservation of luxury products, okay, such as uh, fruit in brandy or other spirits. Like a preservation of uh, preservation of certain food, okay, in sugar or alcohol does not okay does not include what uh, fruit flavored spirits. Whereas they are they are nothing but they are just used as an agent to preserve the food. Now. The next type is preservation by lye. Uh, here, lye, you know, this is a very easy term. Lye means there's nothing but sodium hydroxide. So when you use sodium hydroxide to preserve a food, they become too alkaline for what? Bacterial growth. One more time, they become too alkaline for bacterial growth. They also saponify, okay, fats in the food and will change what? Its flavor and texture so okay they are also used as what a de-emulsifier de-emulsifier now the next type is hurdle technology so hurdle technology is nothing but you use a different combination of uh, different combination of uh, treatments so saying uh, like so the preservative factors or hurdles disturb the homeostasis of microorganism okay so to disturb the homeostasis of microorganism you need to um, combine different processes usually they will do some three different processes like they would control the ph they will control the water activity or they would control the temperature okay uh, what are the treatments okay they involve is that they are like blanching can be combined with osmo dehydration or it can be combined with the addition of chemical preservatives so why they combine a lot of technology is that uh, to make sure that the microbes will tie uh, at least okay at least in one of the processes so if a microbe escapes one process it can be uh, okay it can be killed in the other process so that is a major okay major thing under hurdle technology so this is usually performed okay this is usually performed to okay this is usually performed to kill or uh, to disturb the homeostasis of the microorganism so hurdle technology is nothing but it uses a combination of treatments now minimal processing Minimal processing is usually uh, done uh, to protect the short uh, shelf life of fruits, vegetables, and meat. Okay, uh, compared to the other processing, this okay, this minimal processing processed food retains freshness. Okay, now so they always involve what um, like mild processing, and they are more acceptable okay to consumer than conventionally okay, I mean conventionally processed food. Here in minimal processing also, they use the hurdle technology. Like I already said, they control the temperature, water activity, and the pH. So mostly a minimally processed food, you know, they could be stored in the room temperature for about four months. So if a processed food like um, is you is using modified atmospheric packaging, uh, what happens? It has to be stored under one to eight degrees Celsius, and it can be stored for five to seven days. Okay, so when I say uh, minimally processed food undergo hurdle technology, mostly they undergo a steam blanching. So this blanching would last up to one to three minutes. The second thing is that uh, I said about the water activity. The water activity can be reduced up to 0.98 to 0.93. So this water activity can be reduced by what? By add adding sugar. The other point is that the pH. So how they reduce the pH? Is nothing but they add either citric acid or phosphoric acid but uh, and the addition should be around um, 3 to 4.1 grams 3 to 4 grams next um, next or uh, they add okay an antimicrobials so this antimicrobials can be either sorbate or sulfide and uh, they have to be around thousand parts per million so that's all for today's class. So I hope you understood. So thank you and thanks for watching.